so I thought it was about time I uploaded a video and I couldn't think what to do so I'm gonna play a game so um, what game to play yes this one um, yeah we you've got a black screen at the minute but don't you worry we'll sort that out we will sort that out uh, just as soon as possible uh, da, 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 da. okay boom how's about this this game is right up my street so let's go ahead and play into the current time what is the current time 1845 how do I do it that way where's my mouse give me my mouse oh all right your wish I sure wish I mean I sure wish see my mouse don't quite know what's happening there oh uh, this game you might know Amazing. So yes, we're about to play the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Couldn't believe my luck when this came out. Uh, this originally came out in about 2013 or something, and then they totally rebooted and revamped it. So ah, we have a mouse back again. So yeah, chuffed a bit. Oh look, look on the screen. Look on the screen on the computer. Wow, that's like starting up OBS, isn't it? Everything d diminishing into everything else. Let's go. And they're right, the end is never the end. This game plays you rather than the other way around. This is the story of a man named Stanley. I'll let the man talk. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen like solid, like Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. This is where I come in, I think. Oh yes, I have control. Okay then. Ooh, ooh, I'm on roller skates. Look at me. Whee! So, 
Don't go in there. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply a missed a memo. Look, look no one. matter how hard Stanley looked, Looks he like couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Nice cup. Looks like there's been a bit of a kerfuffle. Knowing your city. Hmm, I wonder what city this is. Hmm. That's suspicious. Hey, look, 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 look. What's going on there? That's. Are we feeling a little bit suspicious? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Now ordinarily, when the man says that, you go through that one. So I'm going to go through the one he said. What's that? What was that? I can't go back. I can't go back. What's on their screen? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Which I'm guessing is through here. Monetize free to play. Nice. Ooh. We can go in the broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. You know I should charge for content like this. I am joking. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. You know, I'm going to go against all my instincts and just follow the instructions. See where that takes me. Look, there's nothing. Nothing outside. Can't go in there. Excuse the sound of the mouse. Look at this office, Doc. Look at this office. Oh, let's go in the executive bathroom. Yes. Oh, yes. Would you look at this? Look at the towel. It even matches the wallpaper. Great. Look at the wash basin. Shame the mirror doesn't work. Oh, yeah, so got a nice plant well out of the sunlight. Whoa! Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Okay then. There's a picture of something, a bridge or something. Extreme bathrooms. Come on, we can. We must be able to flush the toilet. Come on. Ah. Disappointed. Again, nothing outside. Worrying. Do I wait? Do like that wallpaper. It's really nice wallpaper. I think Boris Johnson would pay good money for that, wouldn't he? What do you think? Oh, now they've shut all the doors behind me again. There's no going back, chaps. Old school, the beige pages. Another 2FX. Two phones, what's this? Business time. Yeah, nice. Well, I suppose nice. Is that the boss's... So what's 
What's in there then? Nothing for me. That's probably the way out. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark <coughs> secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two eight four five but of course Stanley couldn't possibly have known this he's right you know I couldn't have known that what do you say two eight four five huh? the hell Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs trying to input anything on the device was useless since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five if only I knew what the combination was. That picture. Two, eight, four, five. Wait, these aren't real books. Forgot. But it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, hey. and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, what did do? This is why I like this game. Is that it? Have I got a flashlight? I haven't got a flashlight. I guess I have to go here and press. Oh, I guess it pressed down. At least the light came on. Oh, my coffee's all gone. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realised he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, great. What's that? Does that mean it stopped working? Wait, wait, wait. wait. What's that? I am confused. Oh. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, I've got to get me a bit of that. Hmm. Shall I be an everyday voter? Or shall I be me? Everyday voter. Me. Everyday voter. Me. Gotta go for mind control. I said I was gonna follow it, what it was all saying. Besides, this looks quite spectacular. Have an idea. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought. How to much himself. would you pay for that lot of Eddie courage? Had the strength to Whoa. find out. Look at them. I bet they're all 4K. Let's turn on the surveillance cameras. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. It couldn't Had be Stanley true. really been under someone's control all this time? It's monstrous. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? My that his emotions God. had been manipulated to accept it blindly? You will know nothing and you will be happy. Oh, wait. Now, 
No. I've heard he that refused before. to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yep, just like everyone. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I will do it. Will I? Uh, okay. Well, how? Through the power. Let's turn the power off. It is off. Ah, now we see. Ah, yes. Is that system D? And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his duty. Obligation, obligation, to put an end to this horrible Pit. place and to everything it stood for. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. God, it's good to feel that power. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Is it over? Yes. He had won. I won. He had Already. defeated the machine. Hurrah. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. I'm Freedom was mere moments away. Freedom. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, what they Stanley reflected slowly? on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Yeah. Where had his co-workers gone? Well, how had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Who was what shutting other the doors behind did me? this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. None of it. For it was not knowledge or even power that yes. he had been seeking, but happiness. Yay. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, Skipping but through to the let daisies. go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Ah. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Be mine. And that was all he needed to know. That's all I it need was to perhaps know. the only thing worth knowing. Oh, Stanley yes. stepped through the open door. Where are we, Derbyshire? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yay! But... Oh look, I beat the game. I got the achievement. <laughs> Why am I here then? Let's try that again, slightly differently. All of his co-workers were gone. Yaddy, 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 what yaddy, could yaddy. it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps yes. he had simply missed a memo. Memo. Meeting. New content. Ooh. Ooh. There's new content. Oh. New content? What That's does what that mean? Is. New content. They can shut the door behind me. Oh, I think they will if I go through there. Hey, I want to go this way. I want to go that way. Damn it, I guess I've got to go this way. Yep, got to go this way. New content. Ahoy! Bet it's really exciting. 
Remember, this was originally released in 2013, and it has been updated with vast new content. Oh, I love this game. It's mad. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. This is going to be great. What's over there? Uh, it's always worth checking out. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. I hope so. Um. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, here we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. I feel like giggling. Mm. Mm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if them... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Get it. Let's get it. Whoa. It's going to be good. All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. This is outstanding. I think I'll ask the boss to implement one of these at work. A jump circle. That'd be great. Is... is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. No, it's gonna be... I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. So, you know, what's the point in entering the time when it's different on the clocks? That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's oh, gone into it. No. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and yeah. it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off yeah, on this? I didn't get I'm infuriated and I'm offended. And I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. I'm uh, behind you. It's my fault, Stanley. Yes, I built is. up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. No, I know. Yeah. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. Yeah. No frills. No frills. No gimmicks. All gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. Yeah. 
What do you say, friend? I say let's go for it. Ooh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the office? Well, there's a picture of it. Where's the narrator? No going that way. Okay. Alright. Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Hmm. I remember the last time someone said that to me from a vent. It didn't go well. But I liked it. Coffee nut. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you never said there'd be a drop. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got mm -hmm. me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Yeah, I so I made that. something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Hurrah. Just our little secret. Take a look. Oh, would you look at this? Well, if it weren't for the copying machine, this could be pretty epic. I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. I've got to say, I like it. Oh, what's in the picnic basket? I want the picnic basket. Why are the flowers in bathtubs? You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, well. it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Wait a minute, we didn't get a BAFTA. We never got a BAFTA. Ooh, souvenirs. Nice. Still the wrong time. Did so want to go in there? Oh look, the old steam. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Anyway, carry on, carry on. Oh, the original remake. Oh, when it went to steam. Okay. The first dollar earned by the game. Hmm. It came on a DVD. Wow, really? <laughs> Have to try and get that one. Again, with the BAFTA. Wow. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. 
Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com, James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. Mm -mm. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. <laughs> So where do I go? What's this way? Who's that? Or do I go down the steps? Well, I guess I don't go down the steps. Excuse the sound of the mouse, it does kind of break immersion, doesn't it? Oh. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten, don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. <sighs> Where now then? We can't go in the serious room. Can't go that way. So, can we now go downstairs? Oh, yes. These were simpler times, Stanley. Yes. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh no! Oh god no! Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. See, well, I like this game now. Mad, isn't it? Absolutely handstand. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Well, oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it well. Well, well I always thought it, it, it did. It's kind of light but maybe it was roof in here. Yeah. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel approachable. Like a failure. A track record. Look. Like I let these people down. There's another set. Perhaps the yeah. Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Oh no. Huh. Oh. Look how the look how it just ends on edge of the ground like that. 
What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Door shuts behind. Oh, there's nothing there. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past Time's it. Wrong again. It's what the players have been asking for. And Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're... Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk <laughs> to again. Plants died. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I... Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. The I still keep in track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved? He gone. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Enter. Something will happen soon. The end is never the end, 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 is never the end. I'm basically just waiting until there's a door. Wait, is there a door behind this? Has there been a door behind here all along? No, there's been a stepladder and a piece of wood. And water dripping down. Hmm. Oh, the clocks fell off the wall, look. Well then, we've had uh, an ice age or something, I expect. Yeah, graphical glitches. I'll probably need to change a setting somewhere. Still want a door back, really. I mean, that'd be useful. All the 
plants have died again. This is one weird game. New life is taken over outside. Oh. Well, oh, at least we can get out now. Wow. This is what we skipped ahead to by trying to dodge the meaning in this monologue. Is there anything? This is just another part of the parable. So I guess that was an ending. So because that was an ending, I'm going to say thanks for watching and catch you in the next one. Look at the number. Look at the number on the top right. Top right. Look at the number. The number on the top right. Top right. Look at the number. The number on the top right. Top right. Look at the number. Look at the number on the top right. Top right. Look at the number. Look at the number on the top right. Top right.